Hello guys, it's been a long time since my last vlog and my channel has grown for about 100 people since then. So I want to thank you so much for your interest in my art and for subscribing to my channel. I'm really glad to see you all here. I hope you will find this channel useful for you in some way. I see that the last video about print production become very popular and I feel that I should focus more on this kind of informative video. And while I'm thinking about future videos, there is an art slash life vlog from me. Maybe it will inspire you for something good or raise a creative mood in you. I guess it's better than nothing, right? So let's start. Well, I have some news I haven't shared with you yet. I have launched my brand new website. Now I have a portfolio with my works and shop there. And also a blog where I write about tips for beginner artists, art blogs, sources of inspiration and ideas. So if it's something that you are interested in, follow the link down below in the description. Honestly, it's been a lot of work on this website, even though it was made in the site builder. And it also had limited me in many ways. I cannot make some things in the way I want it. Some things are not as convenient as I would like them to be. But we always should work with what we have, right? So I'm happy that I finally created this special place for my art. Also, I have launched this new cards with a rabbit and a pandemic girl. I have shared these original illustrations earlier in my videos, so you may have remembered these guys. They're printed on matte paper, the same I use for oil painting prints. I am such a fan of matte surfaces. Since I bought my own printer, I had to figure out a new way of packing a bigger print format. Well, this is what works for me. I use tissue paper for rolling up a print and plastic wrap for additional protection from any possible wet situations. Then I put it in a cardboard tube and it's ready for a journey. By the way, this winter surprised us so much this year. It was so unbelievably snowy and beautiful. And it gave me so many new experiences, but I will talk about it a bit later. Before the winter holidays, I wanted to focus on some of my ideas that I had been keeping in mind for quite a while and to paint a simple card for my friends. Honestly, it's quite tricky for me to create lately. Actually, I'm going through a really tough and draining time. For now my brain has almost completely lost the ability to generate ideas and even dream or plan. It took me a lot of time to edit this little video, actually almost half a year, so it will be strange for me to post this video without letting you know about how I feel right now when I edit this video in April of 2021. Well, everything led to this for my whole life, so there's nothing to be surprised with. I feel that this time might be the most transformative in my life. At least I feel that if I will be able to overcome this, it will be a new, better version of me. At least I hope for it. And your support and comments are also the strong source of hope for me. So thank you, dear friends, for joining and staying with me. Well, let's get back to the video. Since Latvia was in lockdown, we spent New Year's Eve at home with my cat. Unfortunately, he was very sick because of the stress caused by simple wet appointments in December and we couldn't fully enjoy the evening and the holidays in general since we were worried about him so much. 
Fortunately, he got strong and healthy again and feels absolutely great last month. All we need is to reduce any stress in his further life and call the vet at home if ever needed. Well, I'm going to start a new painting and feeling really excited about that. I already have an old sketch printed on paper in the right size and I'm going to transfer the sketch to a canvas by using charcoal transferring paper. Somehow I felt so happy and energized this day, but doesn't happen really often lately, so forgive me my silly behavior. Uh, I would love to feel like this on a daily basis. And there is a close-up of my sketch. Well, as you already might understand, I plan to begin my new painting at last. And also I've been thinking for quite a while actually, if it will be interesting for you to see my sketchbook, maybe I should make a sketchbook tour video or so if you are interested you can let me know in the comment section so now i will transfer this girl on the canvas yep i have an advice for you guys always write down details of the idea that lies beneath your art because I was unpleasantly surprised that I actually forgot some details I put in this sketch. Of course, I had recalled some things, but it's because not such a great amount of time had passed. However, all these fresh emotions and symbols that you put in the art may not be restored, and I haven't expected that. To be honest, preparation is what I hate about painting. The tedious process of mixing colors and other stuff makes me bored so much. However, after editing this video, I realized that it takes only 5 minutes from the whole process, so it's quite bearable. I use a mix of linseed oil and pinon solvent for cleaning brushes in the process. I remember how I used to paint in my childhood. I was not able to afford oil or acrylic paints, so I had been painting with gouache and cheap watercolor sets. And you know, I think it was quite good quality watercolor sets. And I still use them sometimes since they had great color shades that I don't have in my current professional set. Well, somehow it was much more mellow process than now. I know that many artists deal with that and it seems like life makes our minds really clogged with time and we feel anxious in front of the canvas. It's actually quite sad. I try to find ways to deal with that. I have a blog post about that on my website and I still think these tips are really helpful. But sometimes you feel so bleakly and hopeless and it's nothing but the chemistry of our brain. So all these videos and tips about productivity on YouTube are great until your brain is healthy. But if not, it can really confuse you and you will be trapped in this vicious circle of seeking motivation for years and years, thinking that you are just lazy or something. So if you understand what I'm talking about, I feel you. And if you feel that way and you can't escape this feeling throughout months and years, Maybe you should think about finding professional medical help, since often it's not only about art blog, it's much deeper. By the way guys, I haven't mentioned that I started figure skating in September of last year. 
However, two months later, all ice rinks in Latvia got closed due to the lockdown. So the next time I was able to step on the ice was in the middle of December on the frozen lake that was an absolutely outstanding experience. The whole lake was only for two of us. We came back here on this lake a couple of times during the winter. However, it wasn't as great as the first time when you could skate all over the lake because all next times the ice was covered with a thick layer of snow so you had to find a spot with decent ice and clean the spot yourself so no fun without hard work however it had absolutely been worth it I'm so thankful that this winter was so cold what actually isn't a usual thing for Latvia last years it's such a gift to experience ice skating in the middle of the woods especially when all ice rinks are closed due to the lockdown and it has never been so sad to let the winter go. Who knows when we will be able to step on wild ice again? Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you are the one who watched the video until the end, leave a fear tree emoji in the comments so I could know how many of you are out there. I think it would be fun. By the way, did you know that the word less is the part of my second name and it means forest in my native Russian language. So maybe we can create a forest in the comments together. And I will see you in my next videos. Bye!